at Park Engineering and they have just bought this whopping great big Coria Fox machine. And guess what? 16 meters they had to dig down. That's like 10 of me to dig down. It's a long put... way. They had a lot of steel piles they had to stick down there. I think it was 64 actually. But this video is all about this machine and what the benefits are. So, right, you start, Rowan, tell me about the table. So first of all, the table, this table takes 25 tons of parts. Right now they're doing uh, a little support ring for jet engine components, um, but this is one of the small parts they'll be doing on this. I've seen maybe some of the big parts they've got around the, around the machine right now, and they're going to be absolutely huge. Okay, and um, tell me the stats on this, because I know this is quite a specialized head on this machine, and you can choose different heads, can't you? Yeah, so Coria, obviously, like you mentioned quite nicely, the, the heads are renowned from Coria. They sell these to other machine builders. That's how they know how, how good to make a, a spindle head. Now, this is the UAD. They've got loads of many different kinds. They've got UDX, loads of different kinds. I don't know if by heart, but the UAD, this is a hearth coupling three plus two. So you can't do four, five axis simultaneously but what you do get is a hearth coupling with 324 million positions and it's locked with 22 tons of force, that hearth coupling. 22 tons of force. Now you're going to ask me next, what are the benefits of that, right? <laughs> so what are the benefits? Yeah, so the benefits are, if these guys are doing big uh, drilling uh, operations, for example, or big milling operations in hardened steel at awkward angles, if you've got a, three, uh, a full five axis head, yes. that'll just be held on the linear drives, which they'll be moving, they'll be trying to fight the, all the forces in cut, and you can't take very big cuts because they'll probably stall. With 22 tons on that hearth coupling, you can drill at weird angles, mill at weird angles, and you're not, you've not lost any rigidity whatsoever. And what materials would you be putting here? Because of course, you've talked about the sizes of the parts. I mean, it's five meters, the table, but you know, what types of parts? Who's buying these machines? What for? So these guys, as you said in one of the other videos, they work in regulated industries, highly yeah. regulated industries, which include aerospace, defense. Uh, so the parts, they are absolutely huge parts for nuclear reactors. And the materials? Materials, stainless steels, you're looking generally for exotic materials and also hardened steels because they're either going to be high wear or be in difficult conditions like extreme heat, extreme pressure. So these are actually specialist machines for specialist parts. Um, rack and pinion on the table, benefits here then? So the rack and pinion on the x-axis and I think maybe the right. y, what that is actually because you've got such a long x-axis, five meters as you said, yeah. if you had a ball screw that long you'd get what's called screw whip, you'd get vibration but also a rack and pinion, it's also what you find in your car. Now if you probably know from your car there's a little yeah. bit of backlash in that, right? Yeah. What Cory have designed is actually they've got an electronically preloaded gearing system so that actually, imagine if that was in your car you'd have perfect turning capabilities you would not feel any of that backlash that's exactly what got they've got down here just like my driving absolutely exactly. <laughs> right over here is a column over here is a column but what are they filled with well i've never heard about this before but actually they're filled with concrete concrete i've never heard of a machine tool made of concrete before obviously concrete <laughs> is it's very dynamically stable it's really heavy that's why this manages vibration really well. If you imagine a big machine like this, if you're taking big heavy cuts down here, which is what the spindle's made for, yeah, you, got you might be inducing a lot. As well, haven't you down here? Yeah, you have in the Z. Yeah. Um, you might be inducing a lot of vibration, especially big low frequency vibration with all this. If you imagine the whole part of this machine will be moving, moving. very slowly. That concrete helps to damp those low frequency vibra vibrations. And you've got recirculation, is it? Recirculation of water in the ram coming down. So that's a cooling system, right? Yeah, exactly. So this spindle is running. Uh, it's got a 37 kilowatt spindle, which is S1, not quite continuous, but if you're going to be running uh, this, this hefty spindle at high feed rates, you're definitely going to generate a lot of heat. You need to cool it down, otherwise you're not going to be keeping those tight tolerances. Uh, what's this box-in-box box ram? So the box-in-box box is actually, so above us, above the machine, you can see it's actually got an external jacket and an internal box, and that is just an extra piece of material that helps to make sure you don't get any deflection on that Z-axis. Okay, um, we've covered this ever so slightly, but I know you've got a variety of different heads from Coria. So what are the benefits here? Because there's quite so you, a few to choose from. Yeah, so you can get those different heads. You can get the standard five axis heads, which are pretty good. But most of the people, we've, we've been to Moloch Cox recently, if you remember, they also went for a UAD head. And those are the only heads I've seen from Coria. And what you get with the UAD head is that three plus two. And that is obviously what most people want for their, for their heavy milling. But you can get five axis if you need to, if you're doing slightly more, slightly lighter work, but five axis. So all those different inter interchangeable heads, which you can actually buy, and interchange on the machine. You don't oh, have wow. to buy it from the machine vendor as like in place as is. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, um, adding to that, I know that you can put like a fourth axis table on this, you can put a rotary table. So kind of, th there's so much scope here. Um, why would you do that? 
Well, you'd probably get a rotary table or a fourth axis. Now, I, just, I think a fourth axis on this would be so useful because the 3 plus 2 is fantastic if you're doing uh, indexing, milling heavy stuff at weird angles, but you can't do fourth axis simultaneous. So if you've got a weird uh, surface you want to get a nice lead angle on and follow around the surface, get a nice finish on, you can't necessarily do that unless you have a fourth axis either in the, in the table here, which we've seen, or on a rotary table, which we saw at Mollock Cox. All right, okay, let's, uh, let's go out uh, by the control system as well. I wanted to talk about uh, thermal compensation because this kind of handles a lot of that and we're right by a roller shutter door so it's going to change temperatures quite often yeah so when the roller shutter door comes up obviously you might get a little bit chilly you might be a bit warmer if it's a if it's a summer's day that's going to change especially with such a big machine it might be warm over here cold over there so you've got a lot of different temperatures you've got to deal with a lot of different growth now because the machine is a gantry type a portal type you've got left hand column and a right hand column this means it's thermally symmetrical. So it means if it does grow, it will grow in a symmetrical way, yeah. not with a C-frame machine tool, where it will grow outwards, not in a symmetrical way. So that means it's much easier to compensate, and the control handles the compensation for you anyway. And I know the operator loves this control, and then so does the management team as well. So um, DTS, they helped with the installation. They're very happy with this. So Rowan, all in all, who would you say this is aimed at and why? Well. This is for, right now this configuration is for square parts that have got weird angles. Now most people would have a big fat casting or a forging that they'll have to set up, maybe do eight different setups, nine different setups, depending on what angles they want to try and hit. This is for hitting all those angles in one setup. You can also get a rotary table, it's for round parts. So you can actually hit any big parts that you've got with heavy, uh, heavy cutting, hard materials, you can do any of those on this machine. You've certainly done your research on this machine. One more thing as well, box type. The benefits here. The box guideways, you can see on the Z-axis up there, those are little small box guideways, much better than linear guideways. They are just a lot more rigid. Right, amazing. Well done to you, Rowan. Also, just to give you a heads up as well, this company, I've just invested in another one of these and they've also invested in another Fox with a bigger size.